folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com. Hey, coming here with another booth interview here at NAB 2019. And we're, of course, wandering around, checking all the cool booths, things you want to take and see here. We are at booth SU12707 in the second floor of South Hall. And we are at the Opus Digitas booth. And I'm here talking with Gary Lerner. Gary, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Chris. Good, how good. are you? Good, good. Now, Gary, you're the CEO of Opus Digitus. Uh, give us an idea of who you guys are and what you're about. So, uh, thanks. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we are excited to be here. This is our first time uh, demonstrating new technology that helps uh, broadcasters, content creators, as well as brands uh, to federate user-generated videos. And we are doing that by essentially assuring authenticity of contributed videos. We are streamlining uh, user management uh, rights transfer as well as engaging the users to give a unique advantage to broadcasters and content creators to attract to attract viewers to their content. Awesome sauce. So you guys have, a, is, it, is it online or is it software that I download? It's, or? A, it's, a, it's a full platform that's actually, it's a cloud-based platform that um, allows uh, all of the content to go to, uh, to a platform to be reviewed by the broadcasters and decided what to do with this content. You know, we have integration with all of the social media platforms, content management systems, online storages, as well as they can integrate, the broadcasters can integrate the content into media asset management or, or scheduling system for live broadcast. So basically this uh, authenticate viewer videos, what does that mean for you guys? What do you guys do with that? One of the challenges that exists today with user contributed content is to assure its authenticity. You know, we all know about fake videos or deep fakes that today AI and computer uh, computer generated animation can create a very live looking, real looking videos. So by um, by making sure that the, the video the, the users are in a specific location at a specific time that has been has been defined by the broadcaster and they uploading live content only, we are making sure that the content has not been altered in any way and it has been recorded at a specific location, specific time that have been predefined by the broadcasters. So this is probably important too. I know sometimes when I watch certain videos or when uh, people watch videos in other countries, they go, this content is not available in that country. Is that one of the things you guys help do is, is you know, determine where that, that piece wants to be distributed? So um, all, of the, all of the distribution management and distribution rights are the, the complete workflow that the broadcasters use today. So we will integrate with that existing workflow and the same rules apply to that user-generated video the same way as it applies to the rest of the content. So one of the other things you guys do is you streamline rights management. How does that work and, and, and who uses that? So we have a small, um, small piece of technology that integrates into an existing broadcaster app uh, that part of the terms of conditions, their lawyers will come up with the right language to make sure that the, uh, the usage rights are being properly transferred immediately. Uh, it's a very important component because time to air is very, very critical and uh, the value of the content obviously goes down you know, with time, the more time passes by. So today without this technology, even if, they, if the broadcaster gain access to a particular content of interest, they need to engage special forms, to be signed and in order to obtain a uh, usage right for this content. With our technology, because it's integrated into the existing broadcaster's app and part of the terms of conditions, uh, usage rights are automatically transferred to the broadcaster. Awesome. So uh, now one of the key points here says it increases viewer loyalty. That's a, that's a, that's a very, good, uh, very good point. Uh, what, is, what is happening today, if we are managing to engage the viewers Engaged viewer is a loyal viewer. There's a high competition exists today, especially in the local news market, where you have several stations or several networks are competing for the same eyeballs. By engaging the viewers and inviting them to be an active part of the broadcast workflow, as opposed to passive viewer of the content that is being uh, being delivered to the viewers, you uh, you essentially engaging the viewer. And once the viewers sort of engage, they will go for the rest of the content to the same broadcasting station. Awesome. And, and it's also like, you know, they'll invite all of their friends. I mean, they become, you know, mini celebrities. Look, 
you know, my video was shown at six o'clock news. That's awesome. So, because I mean, there's there's a lot of that going on where the news agencies are using a lot of social media. They need to get uh, the approvals from the people who have them and all that sort of good stuff. And and like you say, it's very you know they're, they're trying to go on air with this stuff and they've got to get everybody yeah. in it's, the thing. It's not you know it's not a replacement for everything that it is today, but it's a better way of federating and managing content that is that is being obtained from the users. And then the other aspect you guys have here is you simplify simplify UGV operations. What does that mean? So UGV stands for user generated video. Because it's all part of the same workflow, you know, that starts from from assuring that the content is being authenticated, um, that the, the the content is the usage rights are being automatically transferred. Uh, we have full integration with uh, with social media platforms, online storages, as well as the as the broadcast workflows. It simplifies the operation and it makes shortens time to air. And that's what a lot of the broadcasts. So it does all this about. automatically, and you publish with one click, and away you Correct. go. And you know, and certain things being reconfigured ahead of time, and they're just using the same configuration, just automates the process. That's awesome. So, what else do we need to know? Anything more we need to cover on you so, guys? So, uh, if you're if you're this NAB show, please stop by our booth, um, SU twelve seven zero seven. You can go visit us on our website www.opusdigitas.com. And one more thing that I want to mention: we are running. A, a contest, a video contest where we try, we're inviting users to capture the spirit of NAB and we are giving away prizes every day of the show. That's awesome. So, so uh, we have a little card and it's actually here. So you can go to this QR code and go to the web page, download this sample app and it will allow you to uh, to upload content just in case that you are you're here at NAB. That's awesome. There's so much fun stuff to see here at NAB. Sure so much is. cool stuff. And for broadcasters and news people, it's awesome. So guys, go see him at the booth. Uh, and uh, there it's South Hall. It's on the second floor. It's booth number SU12707 in Opus Digitas. Thanks for having us. We certainly appreciate it. I appreciate you coming by. All right.